Colleen Bernard was in downtown Cleveland running in the Susan G. Komen race for the cure. But while she was downtown, there was something she noticed. I see that they're working on a lot of the buildings and um, we walked down West 4th, I think it was, which was really nice by Lola. And while we were talking, an artist sang in the background part of another weekend event. There were also free trolleys running throughout Cleveland. There were all different kinds of things going on Saturday, and the list goes on. We're expecting about 200,000 people downtown. We have right here at Brown Stadium the Cleveland Classic, Ingenuity right here at the port. You have the head of the Cuyahoga and another Masters um, boat race. The Indians are playing. I think we finally covered our bases with all of Saturday's events. All signs tourism in Cleveland is growing. Just what does this mean for the city? Positively Cleveland CEO David Gilbert answers literally tens of millions of extra dollars into Cleveland's economy and the numbers keep growing. Last year Gilbert says about 14.9 million people from outside of Cuyahoga County visited Cleveland up from 2009 and Gilbert adds it's not only bringing money it's adding jobs. Those 14.9 million visitors support over 60,000 jobs that are within the travel and tourism. It's actually the fourth largest employer in Cuyahoga County are industries related to travel and tourism. Now, this doesn't exactly mean people are choosing Cleveland over Las Vegas, but Gilbert says this year's expected numbers don't even include the new casino and medical mart. And come tax time, studies say more Cleveland tourism equals less taxes on Cuyahoga County residents. In downtown Cleveland, Stephanie Ramirez, News Channel 5.